Hi, welcome to Optimization.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install OpenFoam 2.2 on Mac OS X Mountain Lion 10.8.3. Um, first, we're gonna I'm going to have to uh, uh, install the prerequisite uh, tools. First of all, I'm going to install the Xcode from Apple. Um, you're going to need an Apple ID or and uh, uh, may may have to uh, uh, register as a developer and if you log in you can find the uh, um, oops you can find the, the link to the downloading the X code right here and also important thing is to uh, download this command line tools for mountain lions that way you can access all the all the compilers uh, through the terminals um, uh, I already done this, so my, I have my Xcode with on my computer, um, as well as this command line tools. Next, you have to download this app Mac ports. This is uh, equivalent to the app get in the Ubuntu. It's gonna make your life much easier when you uh, when you have this Mac ports available on your on your computer. Um, the the installation for the Mac port is very very straightforward because it's a, a package file. Um, just when when it's finished downloading, just click continue and continue and just 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 like the normal uh, installation. Okay. Uh, op launch this terminal. Um, and uh, you have to if you pre if you type in port and tab, you should be able to see this port installed it and uh, one way to um, first of all you have to um, update this port by typing sudo port self update and the password and it's gonna update all this uh, the, the port itself and uh, on, on this on my uh, current version uh, I have a Mac ports version 2.1.3 happens to be uh, most recent as of today. Okay, that's good. So, what we have to do is now we have to install uh, GCC 4.6 and op and Open MPI, Flex, Bison, Boost, Seagull, and Cache. Okay, uh, you can easily. Uh, uh, download all of them by uh, typing sudo uh, port install gcc port 6 and open api well, I'll just do it uh, on, on, a, on a single command line and flex bison post seagull cache okay Oh, I happen to be uh, have all of them available, and um, let's check what kind of GCC that I have. Um, if I s type in GCC version, um, I it says I already have this GCC 4.6.3 available. If if that's not the case for you, um, what you have to do is type in sudo sudo port select GCC. And um, you should be able to see uh, uh, what kind of GCC you have on your machine. And I believe if you just installed Xcode and the command line tools, this uh, GCC port 2 is the default one. Um, so you have to change to this MP GCC port 6. The way you way to do that is um, sudo port. Uh, what was it? Select GCC as MP GCC 46. That's how I get this uh, uh, this one to be active, which is the case for me. Um, but uh, when you're installing this um, 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 uh, GCC and Open API, it may take it may take a while uh, until you finish downloading and installing. So you have to be patient about this. Okay, uh, I think we are ready to download uh, uh, OpenFoam now. Uh, I have uploaded the pre-compiled sparse image file on the, the source forge. And what you have to do is 
go to this website and uh, download this file and it should automatically start it's about like 600 megabytes it's very slow uh, on, on my computer right now but uh, I already have it here so it's it's like a uh, cooking show I already have it um, no. okay I think I think I have it on my uh, on my download link yep so this will be uh, downloaded on your on your download folder and what you do is double click it to unzip it and it's going to create this uh, sparse image uh, file and very easily if you double click this it's going to mount on your uh, uh, computer um, the, um, so it's going to be it, it's already added as a device so what you can do is on the, on the terminal is um, you can go to the, the slash volumes and you can see this open form version 2.2 uh, available and now you have to um, create this uh, symbolic link on your uh, home uh, folder um, what I do is ln dash s um, and uh, slash volumes and open foam 2.2 and I'm gonna call it open foam okay now I have this uh, a symbolic link to the to this volume and what what I have to do is Go to this. Uh, go to this folder, and it has already patched thanks to the uh, uh, Bernard. Uh, I sure. Uh, anyways, uh, this uh, instruction is only a um, recreation of this. Uh, all the patches and instru instruction by uh, CFDonline.com. Uh, and if you, um, so this all started from here. And uh, if you have any trouble. Um, just go to this uh, uh, forum and you should be able to get most of the answer from here um, so this and here well anyways okay so uh, go to this open form 2.2 uh, what you have to do is um, source this uh, bash rc file it's in the open form and Okay, it's in the open foam slash uh, open foam 2.2 slash etc. And it, the, the file we're interested in is called a bash rc. It's gonna uh, upload, it's gonna load the, all the um, required environment for your uh, for your PC before you you start even using uh, open foam. So, what you have to do is bash source bash rc, and now it's good. Uh, what you what we can do is actually uh, you can uh, go to go back to the your home folder and um, uh, fix this dot poor file that way um, uh, that way you are um, when, whenever you open this terminal you can you don't have to do this um, you, whenever you open this terminal you can source this um, Open from the the bash RC automatically. Okay, uh, let's uh, restart this terminal, and it's already done. Um, I now you can go to this open from and open from folder. Um, I think it's better to uh, recompile on your computer. Um, so just um, double clean all, and it's gonna remove all these dependency files and everything after a while. And then, fresh install this open form by typing dot slash all w make. and it's compiling all right that's it if you're using a, a linux based machine you don't even have to do all this hassle at a quarter of the price but eh, my logic just failed so let's make a video about it and put it in the youtube and here it is okay it looks like the 
compiling has been completed. Um, how do you know that? Um, I can type in ICO and tap. It's gonna bring the ICO foam, which is the incompressible foam, incompressible uh, solver. The way you one of the way you can check that the the, comp the compiling is successful is to run one of the tutorial. Just go to the uh, tu tutorial uh, incompressible and ICO foam and cavity. Yeah, here it is. Oh no. Okay. Um, if you just type in block and tap, and it's gonna create the mesh and. Um, ICO foam that's gonna do the uh, CFD stuff and also you can check uh, if the, the parallel uh, capability is there by um, running one of the uh, combustion fold combustion um, uh, solver <coughs> the combustion fire foam alias small pole 3d So it's using uh, four, four processors right now, and looks like it's uh, working correctly. Um, so um, yeah, well, I see all these four uh, jobs going on on my CPU, so I'll just stop it here. Okay, uh, it looks like. Uh, we have uh, installed open from we have installed open from Mac. Uh, thanks again for watching this. I hope you find my uh, video somewhat useful. Thanks again. Bye.